Hello everyone, and today we're going to be going over how to change out your brake fluid from this nasty stuff to this beautiful clear fluid. And the items we'll be using for today are homemade bleeder bottle, turkey baster, a 21 millimeter socket, a breaker bar, a torque wrench, 11 millimeter wrench, and three bottles of brake fluid with of course our jack and jack stands. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and take a look at our brake fluid and our brake fluid reservoir is on your driver's side. So it's going to remove the cap and see if I can do it without making too much of a mess. There we go. Ooh, yeah, that does not look good. That looks like it's very contaminated. You want almost like a light tea color. So our first step is to remove our old brake fluid using the turkey baster. And you want to press on the rubber bowl before you go in the brake fluid. And the whole idea is you're going to use the turkey baster to drain out the old brake fluid. I'm going to put a little bit in the glass here just so we have a before and after. And I'm going to try to do it without making too much of a mess. And then we can grab our bleeder bottle and we can fill this up. You're going to want a little bit at the bottom of the bottle anyway when we start the flushing process. So take your time on this and try not to make too much of a mess like I did. And I made a little bit of a mess, so let me grab my shop towel and I'll just clean up just a little bit. And let's take a look inside. Yep, looks like we got a majority of it out. That looks pretty good. And now we're ready to refill our brake fluid reservoir. So grab your new brake fluid. Now this one's pretty good, it's a dot three and dot four. If you're curious to see which one you need, just open up your owner's manual under brake fluid. And this one requires a dot three. So we have the right fluid. Now let's go ahead and remove the cap. Now you're gonna see two holes already poked in it off camera. I have a bigger hole that for draining and a breather hole. This will help prevent me making a big mess. And it looks like we're able to use up a whole bottle. Awesome. All right, now we get to the fun part. Let's go ahead and start by loosening up the lug nuts. So go ahead and grab your 21 millimeter socket and breaker bar. And we just wanna loosen up these lug nuts before we jack it up. Now there is a particular order in which we're going to bleed this out. You want to start furthest from the brake fluid reservoir, which in this case is the rear passenger wheel. And once I get all of these loosened up, we'll be able to lift the vehicle. And the jack points were provided by Mustang Forms. So here's an illustration. If you need to pause the video, you can for where you need to put the jack and jack stands. And with the vehicle lifted off the ground, we can finish taking off the lug nuts. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And this wheel should come right off. There we go. And with the wheel off, we can easily locate our bleeder valve, which is right there. You can see the cap is still on it. So let's go ahead and remove that bleeder valve cap. And you can take this off by hand if you have strong fingers. Come on. There we go. And this one's on there really good. If you have to pry it off with a plastic tool, you can. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. And now we'll grab our bleeder bottle. And I have a little bit of fluid still left at the bottom and a nice two foot hose. Now I did remove the zip tie at the bottom as you can see. Reason being is, watch this. Let's see if I can get this on there, come on. And there we go, there. It will fight you a little bit with the zip tie on there, so I took it off and I'll set the bottle on top. And now we can grab our 11 millimeter wrench and crack open our bleeder valve. We don't want to take the valve all the way off, we just want to turn it about two quarter turns. So there's one and there's two. And you should see a little bit of fluid through the tube at this point, just like that. And now we can jump in the vehicle and start pumping the brakes. This is no rush at all, just go very slow. And throughout this process, of course, we got to top off our brake fluid reservoir. So go ahead and grab the bottles as needed and go ahead and top it off. And you want to check on this periodically as you're pumping the brakes. And with the hose looking clear, let's grab our 11 millimeter wrench and tighten up the bleeder valve. Now the spec does call for seven foot pounds of torque, but that's very little. So I'm going to do it till it's snug. And there we go. And now we can go ahead and remove the bleeder bottle. So go ahead and pinch the hose at the very bottom and pull right up. Come on, there we go. 
And as long as we didn't make too big of a mess, we can install our bleeder valve cap. So just push that right on. And now we can reinstall the wheel. So let's see if I can lift that on there. I'm going to press my leg against the wheel just so I can put the lug nuts on. So there's one, and two, three, four, and five. Now I am going to grab a socket wrench just so I can get these snug. I'm not going to torque them down. I'm just going to get it just a little bit snug. And now we're ready to remove the jack stands and lower the vehicle. With the vehicle lowered, let's grab our torque wrench and torque down all five of these lug nuts. And per the owner's manual, it's 100 foot-pounds, and we're going to do a star pattern. So there's number four, and there's five. And that's one down, three to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the rear driver's side caliber. difference between the front and the back is the bleeder valves in a different spot and it's right there. And now that we've flushed out the whole system, our last step is to verify and top off our brake fluid. So just get it between the min and max line in the reservoir, which is located where the green arrow is. And just like that, less than an hour of your time, you're able to flush out your brake system from this nasty stuff to this beautiful new fluid you see before you.